What's going on everyone? It's Trout and today I'm back here in the wonderful world of Rust and I'm going to be showing you guys who want a clan base to hold over a lot of people how to build one. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Alright, so you're going to want to start by building a basic 4x4 platform. Make sure you give yourself plenty of clearance. Okay, okay, building. There we go. What we'll do is you want to place uh, triangle foundations around the side of the entire base. Alright, welcome back. We've now got a diamond looking structure for our base. So, what we're going to do for most of the sides, we're just going to do some basic honeycomb. We're going to do something very strange to them. And we're going to make, we're going to continue this on. And we're going to come to a cross section. In this cross section, you're going to have a double door and a single door. Um, most raiders will think that because of there's a double door, you know, this leads to a ladder hatch or whatever, which it will. We're going to pretend that this is all done, okay? There's doors everywhere. The ladder hatch is going to be in this little area here to continue up to the base. But they're not going to second guess going through this because they'll assume that this is more honeycomb. So in here, down the bottom floor, because of the new ladder thing, a lot of people, and twig, a lot of people are going to try and raid your base from the top. So for this particular base, we're going to have the loot room on the bottom floor. Okay, so now, if you have a look at this entire base from a bird's eye view, you'll notice that all of these, I mean, not necessarily now, but if you have a look around, these are the four corners, and that all of them have a bunch of honeycomb in it, and this is still the first floor. Now, this entire area here, all honeycombed off, this is going to be your loot room. A lot of people are going to start blowing in from the top, so we're going to make that a little more enticing, and this a little less enticing. So, what we're going to do, is from here, we're going to get our regular, sort of, you know, this is where our ladder hatch is going to go just up here and it's going to be the double jump one so what you'll need for this if any of you don't know about this is you're going to need to put a chest here and then you use the ladder hatch and you just jump up so from here place the ladder hatch open it up and jump up from here we're on now the third floor or at least it looks like it of the base but this is actually going to be your second floor. So now, we are going to place all of the floors on top of here, and your loot room will be secured. Alright, so now if you have a look around, you'll notice that what we've been doing is we've done the next bunch of honeycomb layers, and that is the last bunch that we're going to be doing. So, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly upgrade this to stone, and now I suggest that this be a sort of layer of where if you need to, you know, put uh, just basic resources or, you know, just less valuable stuff and you keep all the real important stuff downstairs, that'd be a good idea. After we have completed all of the honeycomb in here, oh, well, the outline, but of course the doors aren't here, we're going to do the same thing we did before with the ladder hatch, but instead of um, you know, make it just the chest in here. We're gonna actually, uh, we're gonna put it on this side, build there, upgrade the stone, and then that's gonna be an exit out into that area. And then we're gonna have, of course, our ladder hatch up here. You're going to make this entire floor windows up here. And if you do want, uh, if any of you know the door strategy where you can, you know, put doors for every window so that it's a little more protected, you can.
All right, so now for the final thing in this space, as if this wasn't enough, we're gonna make yet yeah, one more floor, but this one's gonna be an open roof sort of floor. Put some low walls up here, just around the entire edge of the base. All right, guys, so I personally like using this space because it's got the sort of bulk that you need to survive a lot of C4 from any minor raids. So keep all of your men protected, and I hope you enjoyed it. And this is my base. Alright guys, thanks for watching, be sure to look out for me on any other of the Dirty Gopher Gaming YouTube channel. I'm Trout, I'll see you later.